Yeah, I think owners are much more focused on their uh, ROIC, and rightfully so. You know, they're really looking for their, their return on their invested capital. Um, and at the same time, they want to make sure that you're keeping a balance between the, the, the service standards of the brand, uh, because you know, that's important to the value of their overall asset. But at the same time, they want to make sure that you're making good fiduciary decisions uh, and providing them that return. Owners' demands have changed dramatically as the financing and refinancing of hotels has uh, placed greater obstacles on the uh, hotel and the brands have accelerated their need for capital improvements to meet brand standards? Um, I think it's changed uh, in, in some ways. Um, you know, it previously, coming out of the downturn, the mandate was to grow top line, and that was the focus. And certainly that is always the focus. But I think what's uh, become important is protecting margins as well, because we've seen revenues grow, but I think we've seen expenses grow at an, an even higher rate. And that's been um, you know, er eroding the profit margin. So I think that's been a big focus. Um, significantly. Um, I think that, one, there's a different owner that's in, in the hospitality side from a hotel buyer standpoint. And so uh, with it has come uh, a lot more stringent demands. I think in the past, uh, relationships uh, probably allowed things to be somewhat more lackadaisical, whereas the segment that exists now with it, um, it's a lot of private and public money. And because of it, uh, it's all that matters is the money in, in, the, in the bottom line. And so with it, uh, I think expectations have changed from a standpoint of what we deliver. And so we've had to change that as well. Um, you know, your, your numbers have to be available to, to the parties at all times, any time, any day, anywhere, the ability for them to be able to do it, as well as also, uh, I think, our, the expectations from us has changed as well. The, uh, the ultimate concern of owners is increasing the value of their asset through maximization of profit. I think that's always been the case and, and that, that has stayed the same. I think that the change in the whole marketplace, as I said, is this, uh, this social media issue and the exposure to hotels and conditions of hotels and uh, service levels that uh, dramatically influence uh, the purchasing decision. Well, the, uh, the, the, they've changed a lot. Uh, a lot of property improvement plans were put off. Uh, most of those have come up to date now, so there's been a lot of capital injections. Uh, the owner's looking for immediate return on those capital injections. Uh, so the challenge is to you know, increase the occupancy, increase the rev par to that level, uh, and, and to get them the return on investment. At Redline, I think the owner demands have changed very, very dramatically and it's in response to consumer behavior changes. Um, the way in which we book rooms, make travel selections today is very, very different than how it's been in the past. And in response to those changes, we need to make certain that we are managing the channels at the lowest cost of sale. And I think ownership is becoming more and more concerned about cost of sale and return on investment for market and spend. And so should we. In the past year or two, the uh, uh, owners' uh, interests have changed tremendously. They're much more confident now in the economy. They're much more confident in their hotel investment. Therefore, they're willing to reinvest in the hotel. They're willing to follow the leads of a good operator, uh, more so than when the economy was poor. Everybody was looking for, for a solution, uh, which might include uh, new operators. It might include uh, uh, selling the hotel. There's much less of that now. I would say they haven't significantly changed. Everybody is still focused on your NOI, your return on investment. So it depends on what is required from a guest expectation. So for example, the IT investment is probably one of the largest ongoing changes. I, I think as, as, as the landscape has improved and financial profitability has increased over the past couple of years, I think that uh, owners uh, anticipate uh, that these incremental, that these significant gains are going to continue at the current pace. Uh, we look at our year-over-year -year improvements. I think that this point, there's a certain point in time where these gains become a little bit more incremental in nature uh, than they have uh, in the previous couple of years. I think the expectations have have changed a little bit in terms of probably managing the investments a little bit differently than before the Great Recession. 
uh, everybody is, is more involved, I think, more engaged at a, at a more detailed level. And uh, ge generally speaking, uh, we're doing a lot more than we probably did a few years ago. Uh, certainly the capital plans, uh, managing the renovations, we did 13 last year. And so deploying that capital and managing those programs for the, for the clients is a, is a pretty big difference. Owner demands have significantly changed, uh, particularly in regards to capital expenditures as uh, brands have become much more uh, aggressive in their requirements to make sure product levels are up to standards. Uh, and therefore, obviously, owners look, up, look upon us to make sure that those CapEx standards are up to par with brand standards, as well as what the guest satisfaction uh, score levels are with brand standards.